camera. All right, what's up, everybody? So uh, we're getting ready to take a quick test drive in the Audi S4. It's 2011, 80,000 miles on it. Gorgeous car, V6, 3.0 supercharged, Quattro, all-wheel drive. That's just a few of the options. Let's check it out. So uh, you're going to notice on this car, first of all, the color. Look at that. I mean, bright blue. I mean, that says. That says, man, I want to drive, I want to have fun, I want to be a sports car, right? And it's a sedan as well, so can't beat that, a four-door sedan, good looking. You got your LED lights right there in the headlamps, projectors as well, and then of course the Audi S4 badge, ooh, the rings, the Lord of the Rings, right? Beautiful wheels on here, as you can see. Good looking set of rims. Those are 19 inch with a 255-35 tire. The tires are by, oh who knows, they gotta be Pirelli. That's right, cool. Supercharged, again like I said, V6. Just a gorgeous vehicle. And uh, I tell you right now folks, if you're looking for a sports car that's got room to throw the kids in the back and the groceries in the trunk, the S4 is the way to go. So anyways, let's hop in. Before we do that, we got this dealer tag we got to put on the back of the car. You know, it's pretty mandatory nowadays. And uh, I got it, OJ. Cool, thank you, though. So let's do that. And uh, we'll find the little button. There's got to be a button right there that opens up the trunk. There we go. And we'll put that dealer tag on the back and have a little fun. So that goes like that. I put my knee right here like this to hold it. Grab that, drop that down. Now the tag is on the back of the car, like so, as you can see. What's up, OJ? <laughs> all right, let's hop in and see what this car is all about. Now, it's a really hot in here right now, so let's get the AC on. Okay, there we go, put that on. And uh, some of the features on this car, first, carbon fiber inlays everywhere. This is no fake carbon fiber, folks. That is the real deal. You got your nice display screen there. Manual transmission. I mean, who wants a sports car like this? Automatic, right? So you're getting a six-speed manual, start-stop engine button, multi-information display screen controls, big cup holders, and a, and a book for me to write down some notes about the car and things like that. But very clean, very nice, and uh, it's not easy driving a car that's a stick shift with a camera in my hand, but we're going to attempt to do it. All right. Anyways, and, and it's not that easy to get the seatbelt on with a camera in your hand. All right, here we go. Just hang on, folks. I'm getting better at this vlog thing. I think so, right? So, uh, there we go. All right, cool. Let's see how this works. Right, I'm gonna move my seat up a little bit because German vehicles, whether you didn't know this or not, German cars have longer tracks on the bottom of the seats. You know, because some of those German folks are tall. So they want to make sure that every German vehicle's got enough leg room for everybody. So I just moved my seat up. Clutch, clutch feels good. Now we're in reverse. Got your backup camera. So we'll do that. Backing her up. Uh, one thing I like about Volkswagen and Audi's backup cameras is as you can see the guidelines move with you while you're uh, moving the steering wheel on the car, which is cool. Let's go ahead and put it in first gear and see what this puppy can do. I've driven Audi's many a times. I used to work for an Audi store and I used to sell cars for them, so I used to get to drive these all the time. The Audi R8 V12 was one of my, or V10, whatever it was, yep, that was one of my favorites to drive. Got to do that down in Jacksonville, Florida, on the uh, main highways out there. And you're talking about hauling some tail. We did it. But, uh, man, you know, we're in Charleston right now, and the weather today is, today is March, March 10th, and it is 80 degrees outside. It's warm. And so right now the car's got a nice feel to it. You know, one thing I can tell you with an Audi S4 is power is not a problem. You're gonna have it. It's got tons of it. I mean, again, like I said, there's a supercharger under the hood. Also, it's Quattro, which means all-wheel drive. 
and there's a 50 50 at you know ratio there from all the different wheels you know so you're, you're getting all it's a true all-wheel drive system on the audi which is nice you know some cars they're more or less front wheel drive and when you're going around the corners the all-wheel drive kind of starts kicking in and things like that but audi's all-wheel drive system is unique in its own and it's one of the best all-wheel drive systems out there today at least that's my my opinion on it let me know in the comments what you think but um anyways let's stop recording just for a second so we can get down the road here just kind of cruising along right now um one thing i can tell you that the fit and finish is really nice on this car it has 85,000 miles on it and I'm telling you, the, the condition, whoever owned the car previously took really nice care of it because it's, it's in beautiful shape. The uh, the seats look good. They got your suede inserts over there, as you can see. I mean, look at that seat. Good looking seat. It's got those huge side bolsters on the side, the whole gen going around corners, which is nice. And, uh, and I, I love the suede on the inside right there. And just the color combination on this car looks really good with the blue outside with this black and gray interior. So that's not bad at all. Now, the car is at Stokes Volkswagen, if you didn't know. I don't know the price of it yet, but I will find out for you. And uh, Stokes Volkswagen is located on Ashley Phosphate Road in North Charleston. And uh, anybody that's from the Charleston area knows where Ashley Phosphate Road is at because it's a busy place. There's a lot of traffic on this road, a lot, and uh, there's a lot of businesses on Ashley Phosphate Road, and there's a Mazda store and the Volkswagen store that Stokes owns, and they're pretty much just across the street from each other. All right, while we're at the stoplight for just a quick second sitting here, I want, you know, back in the day, I used to tell people all the time, CD players will be obsolete at some point in the future. Now, it's this car is a 2011, but Audi is on point. They're on top of the game. Even back in 2011, Okay, you got a CD player slot, but check this out. Open that up. Two SD card slots right there. Let's see if we can get that kind of focused. You got SD1, SD2. So Audi was already thinking in the future, knowing that, you know, in 2017 and 2020, this car will still be on the road being driven, and people just want to take an SD card and just slot it in there and transfer music and things like that into the uh, media center here and to be able to bring in the music like that. I mean, that's so easy to take a SD card and just put music on it on your computer, slide it in, there you go. So I, I like that feature on the car. You got Xenon headlamps up front, which are really bright at nighttime. And uh, the steering wheel's got a great feel to it. The stitching's nice. I mean, it's genuine Napa leather inside this car. So it's gonna be well worth every penny that you pay for this vehicle. Now what would be a test drive without getting on the actual interstate? So that's what we're going to do right now. You know, I can tell some of y'all out there that are watching this vlog right now, you know, if you're out there car shopping, I suggest you always get on the interstate and drive a vehicle, unless you're one of those type of people that, uh, that just doesn't like driving on the interstate. But it's a good way to get out on the highway, hit you know, 60, 70 miles an hour, and really feel the car, the suspension, see if the tires are you know, in balance, if there's any vibrating going on. You know, a lot of time on the interstate, you'll get a chance to slow down after going high speeds, so you can see if the brakes you know, need the rotors churned, stuff like that. So uh, I suggest everyone hopping on the interstate and take it for a test drive. You know, don't ever go out and drive a car for five, 10 minutes just around a neighborhood you know, that's fine to do when you're uh, driving in a neighborhood. It's fine to do. Just get comfortable with the vehicle. But once you're, once you're kind of comfortable with how the car's set up, get your butt on the highway and give it a test run. Okay? Give it a test run so you can see what's all going on on the vehicle. Make an informed buying decision. All right, so... Uh, I'm on the interstate. I just got, you know, I was cruising around the corner there before I got on the interstate at about 15, 20 miles an hour, and I accelerated up to about 60. The car has really good acceleration. You know, like we said earlier with the engine, with being supercharged and all, I didn't think acceleration would be any problem at all. Um, and uh, overall, the car feels great. I don't feel any uh, issues, like any vibrations going on. Um, it's quiet on the cabin. 
which is nice, so it's a quiet. The AC blows nice and cold. And uh, for the most part, not a lot of blind spots on the car. So you can see out really well, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, overall right now, the car feels great. Again, you know, I, th I thought, you know, today, instead of just doing a regular walk around on the car, just sitting on the car lot, I thought, why not take it for a drive? And one of the main reasons why I thought that and you might be saying, oh, it's an Audi S, you know, S4, and that's why. But no, more or less, the car's got 85,000 miles on it. I think it deserves a, uh, a test drive video. So, you know, it's got a little bit higher mileage on it. And somebody like you that's watching the video right now that may even buy this particular car, you know, or buy one similar with that kind of mileage on it, you might want to know, you know, how the car feels. I mean, it does always depend on, you know, who's who owned the car and what kind of maintenance they did and all that. But again, I think these videos that I do uh, with these cars for sale videos, I think some of them deserve a test drive. So that's what we're doing today. And here's a favorite car of mine. The uh, it's hard to see it, but that looks like a Subaru WRX. Good looking car. My camera doesn't like to stay in focus or doesn't like to get in focus very quickly, but um. I figured we'd take a quick little pit stop at the Honda store here with Stokes, walk in, grab some water, use the restroom, and then head on back over to the Volkswagen store. So we'll pull in, say hey to the sales guys real quick. They are always busy here, just like they are at the Volkswagen store, and they really do got a nice selection of uh, used and new cars, so that's always nice. Pull right in, kind of, it's always cool to get a look at the car in the, the mirror over there, if you can see that. That looks cool. Yeah, one thing I could tell you, so with this particular car, would it be in a, uh, it's got an electronic park right here. So there's no, you know, lever right there to pull up and down. All you gotta do is just kind of pull up on that. You'll see that light. And um, see how that light is right there is on? That means the park brake's on. So I got the car in neutral, let off the clutch, and then I can get out now and the car's just like so. Uh, the keys right here. There is a there. Here's oh, here's the key over here. There is a slot right there you can put the key in, but you don't have to. You can just keep it in your pocket or purse, and you'll be good to go. So just press that, and there you have it. Unlocked, ready to go. Of course, you know the sales guys are eating this up right now. They really like, you know, they really they really like this. Now they don't know I'm probably recording <laughs> right now. What's up, Red Honda? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna do the Prince, the Prince Senswat uh, selfie real quick. They're back there. I'm right here. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, the Audi is looking delicious, isn't it? Yeah, we're doing a little vlog on it today. Cool. All right. So as I said, you know, this one is at the Volkswagen dealership, but pretty much any Stokes store in Charleston, you can pretty much, you know, if you want to buy a Volkswagen, but you see a car at Honda, you can have it brought over there. If they got a customer on the Audi over here, they just drive it, bring it over here. And um, I'm gonna walk in, quit recording, just real quick and take a leak. All right, let's, let's make our way now. The Honda store is very unique in its own way. You know, when you come into Honda, you have this huge, Huge, massive showroom. I mean, it's it's big. You know, you got ceilings that are, you know, 30 feet high. Um, great selection of vehicles. They even got a motorcycle here today, which is kind of cool. Check this thing out. This is a BMW K1200. Uh, BMW bikes, definitely very unique. I mean, look at this thing. It's got the bags on the back, which is cool. You got a seat. It's got some carbon fiber look to it. That's really interesting right there. You got Chelsea over there working in finance. What's up? Closing deals. This car right here is awesome. This is our, this is our Pops, North Charleston Pops Honda Civic. And we're doing a raffle up until, I think the raffle on this car is until, let's see. I, <laughs> I think it's in September. But anyways, they're doing a raffle on the car. Yeah, right here. September 9th, you could buy raffle tickets. We're selling a thousand of them for $40 a piece. And basically, if your name gets called, you win the car. You know, I don't even think there's been that many tickets sold. So the odds are really high on actually winning this car right here. All right, now there's another reason I'm here too, but you know, we're filming. 
All right, that was quick. Now we're back in the Audi S4 and we're gonna take it back to Volkswagen and hopefully we find a buyer for it within the next, you know, couple days here. 